Here's Railway Road Eltham train crossing after the general signals type 2 electronic bell has been replaced. So of the Westinghouse incandescent lights, they've all been replaced with LEDs. Here comes the train now. There's just a kid behind me. That's all. This is an extrapolis train approaching right now. Here on this side we have a Western Cullen Hayes gate mechanism. This replaced the Westinghouse gate mechanism that was originally here. Up here there's Westinghouse LED lights. General signals type 1 adjusted e-bell is still there. We've got new wishbone gates. And the old stop on red signals are still here as with the Westinghouse base. Over here, the Mackenzie and Holland lights that were incandescent got replaced with Westinghouse LED lights, or Siemens, as they are made by. This base is made by Mackenzie and Holland, I believe. Doesn't have any brandings on it. There we go, there's the best shot of the brand. So these lights have been replaced as well. Westinghouse gate mechanism on this side has also been replaced as well with the Western Cullen Hayes gate mechanism. The Westinghouse incandescent lights were also replaced here with new LED ones. There's also a new wishbone gate there. The dead general signals type 2 electronic bell has been replaced with a general signals type 3. So, um, there's this side. While I'm at it, we might as well go for a spin around the terminal boxes slash switch boxes. As you can see, they're all the same. Been painted over like a million times as a result of graffiti. Um, you can see people have been putting stickers on them, some of the numbers, if anybody would be curious. Some more stuff here. There's the test switch on the side. 